we what's going on youtube it's donnie p all day so i have another knife coming from lothar if you remember uh lothar put out some pretty good um fixed blades i was extremely impressed and they had a another blade a folding blade that they wanted me to check out now this is going to remind you of a ned foss blade i put out not too long ago and it was a Damascus knife. It was kind of almost like a Trapper Hunter style, but modern. And I, when I first saw it, I thought, I don't know how good this is going to be. It it has that, that cowboy cap gun engraving style. And I really didn't think it was going to be all that. And then I tested it. And it turned out to be a pretty good knife. And I was really, really impressed. And for 80 bucks, the whole package together ended up being very well worth the money. I thought the knife was pretty sweet. And then Lothar sent me one. I could smell this coming right out of the box. And I thought, holy crap. Check out the sheath. The sheath alone. I mean, the sheath alone on this thing is sweet. And the best part is, if you don't like belting your knife, there's a pocket clip. So you can keep it right in your pocket. But I'll show you the whole thing. I just want to give you a, a, a really... This is called the Lich King. Um, and they go really crazy with this engraving on these Damascus blades. And it would give, in America, it gives the the overall feeling as far as the look as we call gas station knives. Um, but what I can tell you is that the last one that was built like this that I tested was no gas station knife. Um, so here it is. It is a typical flipper. Golly, this sheath is so nice. Um, and I saw like the dragon engraving and I was like, I wonder if people would buy into that. You know what I mean? If it's not a, if it's not a real knife, it's not a, a, a good knife. And I put it in my hand and I'm like, I just got to wait a little weight to it. And then I cracked it open and I said, well, damn, that's pretty. So here's the thing. It's uh, 67 layers. 67 with a base layer of VG10 steel. VG10 is what's, it's a common um, katana steel. You see that a lot in katanas. Um, it's a really good steel. And to put that as your core, as your strength, as the hardened area of your, uh, of your Damascus blade, and you have 67 layers of folded steel in there. Really nice, which makes it a true Damascus. Right? You can actually feel the layers of steel. Um, this isn't a uh, an etched Damascus. This isn't a fake Damascus. This is the real deal. But putting it in the hand, it's actually pretty nice. You got this little thumb ramp here. You've got the little finger on the other side. The way it curves is for your, your finger ramp here. Um, and you do have your pocket clip. You have your liner lock, which makes it easy one-hand operation. Um this is an attractive knife. It's it's better. Ooh, even Spidey Flick. Um, it's better than I expected it to be. You know what I mean? You know how you can have an expectation and it's either going to meet your expectation, fall below your expectation, or supersede your expectation. And this far superseded my expecta expectations. There's a word in there. I'm going to get it out. Um, but this is actually really nice. Let's see if we can go over some of the uh, specs if I have them. I, I got it going on. All right. So we have a 3.4 inch blade. Um, it is a 0.12 inch thick. Um, the handle thickness is just over a half inch at 0 0.05. Um, it is 7.8 inches. So it's like an 8 inch knife overall open. The sheath, when closed, is 6.1 inches. Um, and I have to say that so far, so good. So this is the second of of these styles uh, of knife that I I get to test. And I have to say that uh, so far, there's been no disappointment at all. Let's see. I got some hair I can I can shed here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> look at this, look at this, that is 
absolutely, I just curled it into a little ball. That is absolutely shave sharp. That is sharp, sharp. Um, just like that. Look at that. Hair, no hair, hair, no hair. You could absolutely see where I shaved. Um, it, it's, it's a knife. And I'll tell you, they have them going for $79.99 on, um, on their Amazon page. And what I'll do is I'll put the link to the Amazon page down below and you can check it out. Um, this is nice. If you, if you know people, especially who love just a good looking knife, like a classical looking style knife, um, and that love to belt them. This is the kind of thing that you see the old boys sitting outside of the store in a rocking chair whittling or something. And one guy pulls out his buck 110. And then the other guy goes, oh, that's nice. And then pulls this out. And everybody goes, what the hell is that? Because it's beautiful. It really is. But does it work work? Let's find out. Ooh, we had a lot of non-sunshine days. Now we got total sunshine days. Hey, and don't forget. Let that shit go. All right, so <laughs> that's me, man. Ooh, let's check it out in the sun. Let's check this out in the sun. Man, that's pretty. That's pretty. So it's got some real sexy lines to it, and I like that. And I totally forgot my tripod, but luckily I have another one over here. That's what happens when you walk out of the house excited to get things done. You forget stuff. I was wondering why everything felt weird. And it's because I didn't have a tripod. All right, let's hook you guys up. Get over to the stump and start cutting stuff. Start cutting stuff. That's better. All right, so let's get over. Whoa, man. It um, it breaks in real easy. It breaks in real easy. Um, the opening closing is just smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. All right, let's do a couple four-foot drops. We'll see how that bite works. Boop. Oh, wow. All right, that told me something. Boop. That told me something indeed. Do a couple hard downward throws. Bam. Yeah. Bam. That hits solid, boys and girls. Oh, golly, that is in there. You can see the dirt line right here. So you can see how far that thing is burying in. Um, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. All right, so we got a half inch nylon rope. Let's give it a push cut. See how well it does. Right at the tip. Right at the tip. Ooh, now you know the best part of a, a knife when it comes to sharpening is gonna be right in here. And I used the tip and that thing just ripped right through. Let's see. Let's see, got some of this leather belt here. Bam! That was super smooth. That was super smooth. Um, I have to say that ergonomically, the, the knife in hand feels really good. The knife, you know, the, especially looking at it outside now, even the, the dragon, I didn't realize how dark it was. The dragon kind of looks a lot cooler than I thought. It, it, at first, like when I looked at it on paper, or on on screen online, um, it, it didn't it didn't come across as this cool. It was really light looking, but it's actually nice and dark, and it has this uh these uh really cool look to it. All right, so let's get over here to the um to the plastic netting and go right away and see if this edge will hold up to the plastic and see if it'll cut straight through it. And uh, if it's anything like the last one, it should. Okay, so the problem is my plastic netting that I've been using is buried, but we have a knife. So let's see. Let's see if we can't just cut through some of this, create a path. All kinds of stuff I think we're going to be able to get through. Look at this. Look at this. This is a, a folding knife. Now I'm just hacking through vines and all kinds of stuff to get to the plastic netting that was hiding in there. All right, found it. So you can see all this stuff on the blade, man. It's got nice and gritty. Oh, all right. All right, let's see. Plastic netting. I'll tell you what, when you watch a knife like Amora, that's supposed to be this great knife, 
completely fail at the plastic netting. And then you see something like this, which people don't even know, they haven't even heard of, just rip straight through it. And I mean, there's nothing on the edge to show that it just ripped through plastic netting. Um, we've seen plenty of knives um, get chunked up by doing that. Not this, let's go over to the other stump. Let's go over to the other stump. We got a beautiful day out here. I'm almost feeling good. Woo! And that knife is snappy. That is snappy, Pappy. All right, so let's come over here and, and start our kindling work and things like that. See what we can get. See what we can get. All right. Let's uh, break down some of this wood. Let's break it down. Let's make some kindling. Everything is saturated from all the rain we've had. Nothing but rain, rain, rain. Storms every day. All right, so we can beat on it a little bit. It can take some abuse. I haven't had an accidental fold yet, which is weird because it's a liner lock. It's, every now and then they'll fold, but this one held. So that's pretty good. Let's see if we can't get you guys in here up close and personal. Let's check some of this. Oh, wow. This uh, blade angle and edge geometry. Look at these curls. Look at these curls. This is nice. Wow, this is this is a, uh, a feather sticking maniac, man. I'll tell you, this would be a great knife to have with you. Um on like a hike or something like that something that you can pocket an extra knife you can use your big knife to do all the big knife tasks with and then just have that extra knife to do well the extra knife tasks um this is nice this is actually really nice bam bam it, it's got such nice curves in the handle that i'm having a, a real easy time um, grabbing onto it and uh, not losing it when I swing. Let's try way down here. Bam! You hear that? That was solid. That was solid. That was nice. But um, yeah, it gives me. I'm not gonna lose it in a hard swing. And you can see, you can see how hard I'm I'm pushing it through the air. Look at this. It's just nice. You hear, you hear the thunk, thunk, thunk. That stuff's harder than it looks. Um, but this thing is just cruising. Here's a nice thick one. You can hear that. It's just nice. Just nice. <laughs> it's a cutter. I have to say that so far, you know what I mean? There's nothing not to be impressed with. You're looking at a knife that's decorative. And generally, when you're thinking about a decorative knife, you're thinking about a fake knife, a wall hanger. Something that they put more into the look than they do into the function. But that's not the way it is with this knife. These knives look cool and they function great. Let's see, we got a one inch forest tree. Let's see if we can actually do that. Oh, so nice. Let's get rid of some of those. And hit it. Hit it right here. Look how clean that is. Man! That's nice. Alright, so the people over at Lothar are no joking it. This is a pretty sweet knife. I'm going to put the link down below so you can check it out. Um, but it's definitely... It, 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 while the pictures can give it that tinny look, you know, that that where you put it in your hand and it just doesn't feel strong just by looking at it it's a lot different in the hand this thing they gave it a wall hanger look with a knife user build um that's a pretty good way to combo things right there um that is not so bad i actually really dig this thing it's a nice little knife um but Again, I mean, I haven't had a Lothar knife that disappointed me yet. Uh, they just keep coming out of the woodworks with good stuff. 
But uh, this is one of those good stuff. So that's it for this one. I am Donnie B all day. Until next knife.